everyone, it's Anne. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Steampunk Tea Leaf Fortune Telling Cards. It is in a hard case little magnetic box. I'm going to zoom you out just a little bit. Um, it's by AD Publishing, which stands for um, Animal Dreaming Publishing. So it looks like their logo is AD, so it's down here. So that's the back, the side, bottom, front, top, and it's magnetic box, which is nice. So it's small, tuck box size, but it's hard and it's magnetic. So cute, cute box. Inside you open it up, you get the little guidebook that lays on top. It's lined over here. The diamond shaped pattern cars lay underneath. The box is larger than the cars themselves by that much, but it's the size of the guidebook perfectly. Laying the cards out, and there's the inside of the box. So it's a nice little box. And then the cards themselves are um, more like Le Lenormand size or um, if you have the Morgan Greer tin, it's about that size, but it's a little shorter than the Morgan Greer tin box size. It's um, gilded. I was surprised. It's gilded in this nice copper gilding very very pretty it's just copper gilding it doesn't have like specks of sparkles like some of the gold there you can see the real copper gilding when it hits the light instead of being so dark there you can see it's nice and coppery very very pretty pretty gilding and it fits in the palm of my hand so and I have petite hands um, for those of you that need like a visual, which I'm speaking for myself to help you get the feel of it, here's like a traditional right away tarot card. So this is how small it is. But like I say, if you own the um, the tin version of the Morgan Greer, it's um. Oh, actually, I have it here. So if you have the tin version of the Morgan Greer, it's about that size. The width is about that size. It's a little wider, but it's a little shorter. But that gives you an idea as far as size-wise. And then comparing it to the traditional tarot card right away. So it's not too bad of a size. I wish it was this size better because that believe it or not being a little bit taller makes a difference so that that's how much taller the Morgan Greer is and it's wider by that much anyway if you're trying to figure out to get a feel for the size all right all right so the guidebook it's um it's a thin glossy cover but it's on a thin side it's not really hard but it's it's nice that they made it color glossy here's the back steampunk the leaf fortune telling cards tea leaf reading is one of the most ancient forms of symbol symbolic divination having traditionally read tea leaves for many years Karen Dalton Smith introduces a unique way of offering tea leaf readings without the use of tea cups or tea leaves, designed to open and bring forth your intuition so that it may flow freely as if pouring a cup of tea. The steampunk tea leaf fortune telling cards offer the chance to practice the ancient art of tea leaf reading with a 21st century twist. So that's who it's by, by the way, Karen Dalton Smith. So about the author, there's a little page on her at the end there. Um, 
at the beginning of the book. This was um, it's fairly new. I thought it was old, but it's uh, it's only a year old, so it was copyrighted 2018, I believe. I thought I saw it when I was flipping through. Yeah, copyright. Yeah, first published in 2018. So we're in December 2019. So it's only about a year old. It's one of those that popped up when I purchased something on Amazon acknowledgement page. So I had I didn't really know how long it's been around. It just caught my eye. Table of contents. We have introduction, understanding the cards, how to use the cards, about the cards, and then it goes into the different cards. And there are 45 cards. So Daily spread section about the cards. So it has a black and white picture of the cards, keywords, positive, negatives, a general section, relationship section, career section, and a financial section. So nice, nice little book. So that gives you an idea of the guidebook that comes with the deck. And then onto the deck, here's the back of the deck. So it has all the different pictures of all the different symbols of the cards. And then I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see. Is this? Yeah. Hold on. This was the last card. I guess it fell out and I stuck it on top. All right, so we start out with car number one, which is horseshoe. Oh, and the th thickness of the card is pretty nice. It's, it's a glossy sheen, and it is medium. It's bendable, but it's, um, it's not too paper thin. And it has a laminate, so it's a laminate plasticky feel versus that paper cardboard feel, which I prefer personally. Okay, so on to, with the card. Horseshoe is the first card. Ring. So it's sort of like Lenormand. It reminds me of Lenormand, but it's meant to be a tea leaf fortune telling deck. Money. Oops. Letter. Cannon, bells, sorry, it keeps on sticking. When I first got the deck, it was really sticky. I had to, like, break them apart, so it's still a little bit sticky. Medicine, baby, I really like the pictures. Question, balloons, oh, does it say balloon? No, it says bellows. Yeah, bellows. Airplane? Aeroplane. Kisses. Telephone. Heart. Skull. Beacon. Wine glass. That's pretty. Looks very romantic. House. Automobile. Tombstone. Triangle. Triangle. Umbrella. Grapes. That's a pretty great picture. Axe. 
scales, flowers. This is one of my favorite cards. I love the colors. I love flowers anyway, but this is one of the cards that helped me to purchase the deck. Book. Butterfly. Candle. Cards. Castle. I like the green and the blues in there. Clock. Comet. Comb. Drum. What does this say? I? Yeah, I. Is it I? I love the hues of blue and green. Fish. Lady. And there's two lady, there are two lady, lady cards and two man card in this deck. So this is a lady. The first lady card doesn't have a number, it's just lady. The second lady card has a lady too. And they're, they're numbered the same number, so you would just, I'm assuming you would use either or. I think I'm going to keep both of mine in the deck. Some people take it out when there's duplicate. I usually like to keep mine in for my readings. So here's the first man. And this is the second man, man two. So there you go. Both, both of the men card. Man. Boot. Hat, mermaid, bridge, and last but not least, pipe. So they have a vintage feel to them, like vintage colors on some of the cards. Very nice. I think I'll be happy using them. I'm happy with my purchase. Gilding was a nice surprise. I like the cardstock. I like that it's laminated. I love the little guidebook. Um, just to get a feel for it, let's say horseshoe, right? Just so you can see how the guidebooks work. So you open it up, you get the horseshoe, keywords, positive, good luck, money, entering through marriage, fast speed, fleeting moments, younger male symbol, and then the negative is stampede, trample, general section. It says a lucky window of opportunity is opening up for you. Proceed with haste and stay alert or you may just miss the opportunity. The horseshoe represents vibrant energy, freedom, and independence. And then uh, they have a relationship section. So under the relationships section, it says this card represents good fortune in relationships. Love will bless your life. This is a very high energy symbol to appear regarding re relationships and means that lots of fun and play is required to keep the relationship alive. Under career, it has lots of luck and many opportunities are available. The horseshoe is a wonderful symbol of doorways opening for you. It can indicate that you prefer freedom and you are an independent worker. You must be ready for changes on a moment's notice as there will be no time to contemplate things. And finally, it, they also have a financials section. The horseshoe, a very old-fashioned symbol that tells us monetary gain will come from a marriage. Today, this may instead reflect partnerships that bring great financial affluence. Lots of luck and opportunity awaits you. However, ensure you slow down and see the doorways that are ready to to open. So that gives you an idea of the guidebook. Okay, so there you have it. Let me just zoom this back out a little bit. So we have a steampunk. Steampunk tea leaf fortune telling cards with guidebook. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.